Hey, what's up guys? I'm outside here. thought I enjoyed this great weather and do a video on how to make the guitar talk. Let me give you a little, some examples here. So there's a few tricks I did there. A lot of it is hammer-ons, pull-offs, and learning to mute the strings during the strums. So let's start with the first exercise you can do on this regular D chord. Um, you know, I play my G, C, and D, G, C, E minor, D, with the uh, two strings, bottom two strings locked in on the third fret. And I want to want you work on just hammering on with your first finger that third um, third string, second fret. Now what I'm doing also, you might have picked up on, I don't use a pick. I found this to be really helpful lately. Uh, by using my fingers, it helps me kind of get a feel of the strings more. So work on just using your first finger almost as your pick. So hold it similar like you would a pick, but it really helps you um, later on get into the finger picking, that kind of thing. But So if that's your first exercise, work on just that hammer on. And then mute and get the hammer on again. Hammer on, mute, and hammer on. Because that mute makes all the difference in the world to give your guitar playing some depth. So. so, some of you, this is a lesson enough. Just work on hammer on on that third string, second fret. After you get more advanced with that, go up to your C chord, but you're gonna, you're gonna go straight with that middle finger on your fifth string third fret, but hammer on that fourth string second. And the same thing, hammer on, you're doing a mute, and then hammer on again. So hammer on, mute, hammer on. So let's do it from E, I mean from a D to E again. I mean D to C, sorry. Two, one, two, let's see. Do it again. It sounds so much more advanced and it shows gives your playing such more dimension instead of just that strumming gets really monotonous and boring so really work on and then with the G chord do just like the C except except you're hammering on that fifth string second fret. So I'm gonna go D C to G. Is more a lot of times this really helped my playing more than learn particular songs just get the guitar find two or three chords and work on how to make those couple chords sound different so instead of just doing the chord once you get the chord down think of yourself how can I make it fancier so D hammer on that third string hammer on mute hammer on just that's the first exercise hammer on mute hammer on 
and you you just take the outside of your hand here, put on strings, and go down, making no noise, but still just chopping down. So. part one of this video, making the guitar talk, work on just your D, C, and G with the hammer on. God bless you.